Admission process begins when the discharge planner at the hospital contacts us to let us know that you have chosen our facility as one of your choices to go to. The DON will look at your information from the hospital and evaluate that. If it's determined that you meet the criteria to come to the nursing home, um, we will then contact the discharge planner and let her inform her that you are qualified to come. Um, from there you will be transferred to our facility and we need either you or a loved one to do your paperwork. The paperwork process is somewhat lengthy, it takes about an hour, however it does let us um, get to know you better and that way we can take better care of your loved one. Full Life Conference takes place 24 to 48 hours after you arrive at our community. The Full Life Conference is an opportunity for your loved ones to meet with the management staff at our community to allow them to get to know you better and in the same instance allowing the family members uh, to tell us a little bit more about your loved one. Uh, it gives us the chance to uh, let your loved one tell us what type of preferences you have as far as when you like to go to bed, um, what time you want to take your shower. It just lets us get to familiarize ourselves with you so that we can better care for you while you're in our community. Traditional Medicare does require a three-day hospital stay. Once you've had that three-day hospital stay, Medicare will pay the first 20 days at 100%. Days 21 through 100, Medicare will then pay 80%. You will need to have a copay for the other 20%. However, you can private pay that if you do not have a secondary payer. Once the 100 days are up, you will either become private pay or apply for Medicaid to cover the cost of our community. Each case is looked at um, on an individual basis, and if you need more information about this, you can contact our community.